incentive uh, programs uh, that are tied to actual performance, as we talked about, that the speakers worked so hard to pass, and thanks to our Career and Professional Education Act that, that you know, is trying to move uh, a workforce that's qualified and capable through FSU and Gulf Coast and the school district. Those are things that, we, that we've that we tried to do to help. And we can say, if you reach these milestones, we are willing to partner with you and give you tax incentives to expand your workforce. And we think it's working. If you look at the, where we were just a couple of years ago, but we passed that bill in 2009, we had almost a 12% unemployment rate statewide. Today it's 7% and going down. And I think that we can point to a lot of the incentives and frankly just the tax structure that we have in Florida as probably one of the driving factors. How are you? The perspective that, that you give is, you have no idea how powerful your story is. I mean, I think it's just amazing, and, you know, to go on 13 tours, you know, and fight for this country the way that you have for the last 10 years, not including the training leading up to that, and then to not be able to come back and pick up your son, you know, and now with the treatment, being able to do that, and not just saving you physically, but it sounds like it saved you emotionally and spiritually in a lot of other ways. I mean, that's just powerful. Our graduates, by focusing on our strengths, not trying to be everything to everybody, and all things to all people. Health is huge. In my opinion, it has really been kind of ignored when we talk about the industry section or sectors of Pensacola. They always talk about tourism. They always talk about uh, 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 the military. They talk about uh, development. Well, we are a huge center for health. And you know that, President Gates. It's been your life for a while in your profession. And uh, what we have, have asked you to help us with, and you said yes, is to make University of West Florida a partner with stellar programs. We appreciate the work that you're doing that makes the work of your legislative delegation here in Northwest Florida possible. You give us the great story to tell when we're fighting on the floor of the House and Senate and in the budget meetings uh, to build opportunities for students to build careers and lives through the University of West Florida. One of the great uh, connections here, in fact, the great connection, is that uh, the University of West Florida gets it. You understand that your relevance is tied to the economy. As you lash what you do to the realities and opportunities of the economy, you become relevant to this community and you become important to this state. But I, I will also say um, to the Senate President, the rule of Tallahassee is on the first day of session, the Senate President and speakers say really nice things about each other. That's usually how it works. And then on the last day of session, we don't talk to each other at all. <laughs> but differently this year, um, the Senate President and I came out and said, we have an agenda. It's not the House agenda, the Senate agenda. We're going to have a legislative agenda. Everybody thought we were crazy because historically it just doesn't work. And we were very public with it. We said before the session started, this is what we're going to do, and we're going to work together to get it done. I'm here to tell you uh, that your Senate president, your senator, is a man of his word, and we got a lot of things done for this community because of his leadership. The state of New York just announced its uh, bare bones, they call it their bare bones lean budget of $141 billion for a state about the same size as Florida. Under Will Weatherford's leadership, we have a budget that is about half that for the state of Florida. And we got the New Yorkers coming down here to retire. And so it seems to be that we're able to do a lot for a lot less than uh, our friends from the state of New York. And where we are as a state, extremely well, and where we're going. But let me just, let me just tell you really quickly, I believe in this country there are some real challenges that we can't address in Florida. Systemic problems that are taking place in Washington, D.C. and are affecting the entire nation. I can't do anything about that. I can't pass an act of Congress. I can't get the President to change his mind on a policy. But what I can do and what we can do and what the Senate President can do is affect the future destiny of Florida and this community. And so I, I and one of those people that believes that there are going to be pockets of freedom in this country. There are going to be some places that are economically free, and there will be others that will not. And you would think that a state like Florida, that had a 12% unemployment rate just three years ago, had the worst housing crisis in any part of this country, that we would be the slowest to come out of this recession. You would think that we would be hurting more than others. But today, as I stand here, our unemployment rate is 7%, and probably in the next 30 days will be less than 7%. Yeah. Now you've worked very hard on creating six pillars that I've studied and have incorporated as part of our agenda into the Florida House. 
and, and building an infrastructure that gives us a vision for where Florida can be when it comes to economic prosperity. And so I want to thank you for playing big politically. I want to thank you for playing big when it comes to creating a direction for the state of Florida. The University of West Florida is now the portal for students to come back to college and finish their college education and earn not just a degree, but industry certifications embedded in their college curriculum. And they're able to do that online because of Will Weatherford's pioneering vision without having to even leave their own homes. Online instruction will provide an opportunity for more effective instruction and instruction that can be provided at a lower cost.